guys, welcome to my channel. I'm using this image as an inspiration for a step-by-step -step process video. First off, I'm starting off with clean nails. I prep my nails using nail polish remover to clean off my nails and remove any oils on my nails. Removing oil is important because it ensures a long-lasting manicure. Second step is to apply base coat. Since I'm still trying to grow my nails out, I'm using this Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle which helps grow my nail at a faster pace than if I wasn't using any base coat. Here I'm just applying a thin coat to all my nails and I'm going to let it dry. You can use this as a base or use it alone for a glossy natural look. Step 3 is to apply the base color. Here I'm going to be using red and white just as the picture shows for the base. I'm going to be alternating white and red. Um, I'm using white on my smaller nails to help it pop, which is my pointer nail and my ring finger, and I'm using red on my thumb, middle finger, and pinky. Um, I'm still trying to grow my nail and shape it, so I'm just going to be using white to the ones that I need a little bit of pop. Um, the red here is from Sephora Color Hit. It's L41 Cherry Popsicle, and the white is from Sa Sally Hansen extreme wear in the shade 300 white on so i'm just going to start applying a thin coat to all my nails and let it dry while you're applying the color don't worry if a little bit falls on your skin or anywhere around your nail because um, the next step is to use a, a paintbrush and um, dip it into some acetone or nail polish remover and I'm just going around my nails for a cleaner look. I had some red around my thumb so I'm just cleaning that up. Um, it's easier to do this when your nail polish is still wet so um, it removes it a lot easier and I'm just going around and cleaning all of my nails and making sure that I have a clean look. Step five is to use a top coat. Using a top coat here makes a lot of difference because it locks in the nail color and it ensures a long lasting manicure. Um, also using a top coat here is easier so that it locks in the color and it doesn't mix when we start the designs on the next step. So here I'm using the Sally Hansen Strengthening Top Coat. So I'm applying a thin layer and wrapping it around the top of my nail to keep the color intact. And I'm just gonna let it dry. Step six is the design. I'm using a dotting tool. Since my nails are really short, I'm using the two smallest dotting tools um, in my kit so my nails look longer. Um, I'm using the same white color to make larger and smaller dots on my nails. Um, keeping the brush right upright makes it a lot easier to get the nail polish in the dotting tool without wasting any nail polish. So I'm using the same ends of the dotting tool with the red color and then wiping it off with a cotton pad dipped in nail polish remover in between. And then I'm using the same dotting tools to use the white color. Um, I used about four to five bigger dots on my nails and I placed them in random order. Um, and then I used smaller dotting tools um, to go around them to create a variation in my nails. And once I'm done with all the white dots on the red base, I'm gonna switch it up and use the red dots on the white base. Um, in between doing these dots, please make sure that you're cleaning the dotting tools using the cotton pad dipped in acetone. Once you're done with this nail design, um, you can use a glossy top coat to finish the look or do what I did and add a mattifying top coat to the red nails. 
um, to create an illusion look of uniform nails. Since my pointer and my ring finger nails are smaller, I use glossy top coat on those and then I use the matte top coat on the other nails to give it a uniform look. Um, here I'm using the Sally Hansen Big Matte Top Coat to mattify the red parts of my nails. If you have any suggestions or other designs you want me to try, please comment below. And here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Bye guys.